sorry, but you're gonna have to go back and shoot another set. I'll just make a backup of this one. Putting the old spank bank out of con? I feel you. Oh my god! Hey guys, it's Vash. Welcome to Metal Gear Solid 2. One of my personal favorite Metal Gear Solid games. I absolutely adore this game. I just love Raiden. I think Raiden is so cool. Oh my god, this is loud. Like he shot me. How are you guys doing? Good, I hope. Wonderful. Um, it's 7.50 p.m. So let's, uh, you know, have to turn this down. It's just loud. I gotta make sure it's pretty loud because it's better to be loud than too quiet. Because if it's too loud, I can always lower it. If it's too quiet, it's very difficult to make it louder. Um, start game. Oh, that sucks. I don't let you pick the version that you get to play. Metal Gear Solid 1 had like five different versions. This game has two. So I wonder, I don't know, I guess maybe there'd no real reason. Like there'd be no real reason to play regular Sons of Liberty and not subsistence or substance, whatever it's called. I don't think it matters, does it? I mean, it's just nice to be there, I guess. I think this is the same intro that plays when you actually start the game, right? So we don't really have to watch it. So, Metal Gear Solid 2, you guys doing great? I already asked that. Well, I'm asking again. Oh, you're doing well, you son of a bitch. Um, they, they don't have the skateboarding minigame, do they? Photo album. I'm gonna take some pictures with my hot homies. All right, tanker plant. Normal. Radar type, I don't think it really matters. Let's play. This story is fictional. Yeah, any and all similar characters in real life are points of the Hudson River. Two years ago, we had classified intelligence that a new type of Metal Gear was scheduled for transport. The whole thing stank, but our noses have been out in the cold too long. The George Washington Bridge. So on the original PS2 version, maybe I was too slow, because I tried it in, in this version and it skips, but I just remember in the OG PS2 version when uh, you're trying to skip the codec calls, for some reason you can't skip uh, the second, I believe it's the second codec call you get when you start playing. Um, I mean, you can skip it, it's just you can't start skipping it until like a second or two into it. I guess it has to load, I don't know. That's why like in my mind as a kid, I just always hear, we need to get a fix on who they are. Like, because that's the only sentence that I would always hear when I was a kid when I'd skip all the cutscenes. <laughs> that's the only sentence he would ever get out. Because I would play the shit out of Tanker when I was a little kid, dude. And I'd skip all the cutscenes. I didn't care. I was like, I don't know, 12? I just want to play the game. We need to get a fix on who they are. And I'm like, mash, mash, mash. My mind was blown. Can you imagine going from Metal Gear Solid 1 to this? It's mind-blowing. Literally. Dude, I was a Charon, and I was going crazy. I was like, look at the graphics. I got this, I, I bought a PS2 for this game. Well, I didn't buy one, I was 12. I asked for one for Christmas. <laughs> Superhero landing. Oh, look at Snake's packet. You packing salami?
What sneaking suit do you guys like best? One or two? I really, really like sneaking suit one. I really like it. Oh. I mean, it is just like a dark gray suit with like a black vest. This one was really unique. I had a toy of snake in this costume. And his ass cheeks are like just so defined. Soon enough. Solitude, Sons of Liberty. Oh, what a shot. This is Snake. Do you read me, Otacon? Loud and clear, Snake. Kept you waiting, huh? I'm at the sneak Yo, point. the quote. Everything going okay? You see his lips? Mm, stealth camo's busted. Landing impact. We must have overused it. Sorry, but you're gonna have to deal with it. You're not in the military anymore. Right. I didn't plan on relying on this gadget anyway. The private sector's not so bad, is it? Privacy guaranteed? I'm happy as long as no one gives me any more unwanted gifts. You mean that thing with Naomi? And I can't say I miss the chattering nanny. Mei Ling's not so bad. That reminds me, I have to get in touch with her again about that new Natick flashware. Diverting toys from the SSCEN again? Look, give her a message from me. Someone will find out sooner or later. She's better off assuming it's sooner and quit while she's safe. Too true. Okay, Snake, let's get to work. You know how the technical specs of Metal Gear were sold on the black market after Shadow Moses? All Ocelot's doing. Exactly. And now every state, group, and dot com has its own version of Metal Gear. Not exactly a classified weapon for today's nuclear powers. This new one seems to have been designed to wipe the floor with all the other models. The only consistent description is that it's an amphibious, anti-Metal Gear vehicle. That explains why this one is under Marine Corps jurisdiction. A Metal Gear to beat Metal Gear? The mission objective is to make visual confirmation of the new Metal Gear being transported by that tanker and bring back photographic evidence. But I want you first to go up to the top level of the infrastructure, to the bridge. We need to find out where the tanker is headed. A little reconnaissance, huh? There's too much we don't know about this new prototype. Capabilities, deployment method, we don't even know how close it is to completion. If we know where the testing arena is, I can start to draw some reasonable conclusions. All right, I'll head to the bridge ASAP. Try to avoid confrontations. Our goal is to collect evidence on Metal Gear development and expose it to the world. It would be best if you could get out of there without alerting anyone. Don't worry, I know the drill. We're not terrorists. Very good. Don't you forget that you're part of philanthropy now, an anti-Metal Gear organization and officially recognized by the UN. Recognized, but still fringe, Otacon. Say it. Say the line. All right. Let's oh, no, it's after gear. this part. Your after weapon is a tranquilizer gun converted from a Beretta m 92 goes back to the codec. M9. It's a little hard to work with because you have to reload after each shot since the slide locks. Better than scavenging at the mission site. Good suppressor, too. The chemical stun will take effect in a few seconds and last for hours. You can take down an elephant with that thing. Check out the laser sighting, too. Ooh. The effects of the anesthetic round will vary depending on what part of the body is hit. We're talking about a difference of tens of seconds between hitting limbs, chest, or head. As for the equipment... Hey, Snake? Cigarettes? What's wrong with you? It's kind of a lucky charm. You snuck him in his ass! You haven't read the Surgeon General's warning, have you? Here's the digital camera. Works almost the same way as your old one. They don't look armed. Hey, Earth to Snake. These are nice upstanding Marines, not terrorists. Don't get caught, you're in stealth mode here. Sure, and if it comes to that, a little beauty sleep never hurt anyone. By the way, Otacon, are you sure of this intelligence? Absolutely. Hacked it out of the Pentagon's classified files myself. No traces? Oh, please, I'm too good for that. But this might be a trap. Remember, there's a price on our heads. You're just being paranoid. I hope so. Those men, you wouldn't think they were anything but civilians from here. With all the ships passing on the river and in the harbor, putting uniformed marines on the deck would be a bad idea. People can get a clear view of the water from Riverside, too. 
but the water line is too high. According to the navigational plans, this ship should have discharged its cargo upriver. It's in there, no doubt about it. The military trains you to watch for threats from the stern on a boat. That's SOP for counter-terror ops, too. Security should be tighter. You worry too much. Where's the target? Satellite surveillance is a major international pastime these days. I'd say the cargo holds, safely below the deck. Do you see the entrance to the holds? Looks like there are a few entryways into the crew quarters. The chopper. What? So what's this say about him saying that they should see him coming as they're getting diced up? Turn in the spaghetti. Man, how you gonna jug that man up like that? Looks like we're not the only ones after Metal Gear tonight. Is that a chopper I just heard? Affirmative. Probably another cavalry. What's their game? Hijack? They're probably targeting the ship's controls. Otacon, how many men do you need to take over a tanker of this size? The ship is run by a computer, so I'd say about 18 people. Say it. Damn it. It's when he goes back to the codec. I forgot how many cutscenes I got to skip when I was a kid. <laughs> Russians? You sure? No Marine Barber types that head of hair. Now you got to take the cute hat out. Huh? Keeps head warm. I'm transmitting a photo. Let's get an ID on him ASAP. I'm on it. like the tanker's theirs now. K-60 Kasatka. Kasatka? Camel chopper, right? Killer whale. Is it time? We need to get a fix on who they are. Hey! Judging by the transport, aren't they some <laughs> kind of military commandos? That's what's Not up, dude. I love that line. It could be the KA-62, the civil model. Look, Snake, all we need is the photographic evidence of Metal Gear. As long as we have those, we can put it online and blow the whole thing wide open. So no pyrotechnics, okay? All right. I'll do my best. This isn't like Shadow Moses. Reach me if anything happens. The frequency's 141.12. How can I check in and save my progress? I'll do it. There's a frequency set aside for it. 140.96. Sorry, but no Mei Ling this time. Oh. Call me on the codec when you want to save. Got it. I'll be waiting just past the Verrazano Bridge. You need to be off that ship by then. I'll be in touch. Let's go, baby. It's just Sausage Town. I don't mind. All right, here we go. It's been a while. I have not played this game in so long, dude. It's been forever. Forever. I think we did a playthrough of this on Twitch like a, like a year ago? Something like that? I gotta make sure I get used to the controls again. First of all, I wanna make sure Oddcon's got some eye candy. How do we do it? Square for photos. Okay, here we go. Yeah, Oddcon's gonna love this one. Put this in the old spank bank. Good. Yeah, I think he just walks by, right? Doom, 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 doom. I love this game's music, and it's so good. Especially like Raiden's bongos. Don't you hit me with that ESPN! Sagaya! We're out. Snakes butt cheeks, dude. Like made of stone. Yeah, man, when I first saw this, I was like, you can peek around corners? Ah! Started screaming and shit. The old memories, huh? I'm out. I'm out, baby. Deck B, cruise quarters, starboard. Is he big yawning? You can use shadows? You shadows to get around, dudes? He never saw it coming. I almost fucked up, too. I turned too early. Surveillance camera? Doom, doom. 
Man, they got these already. Sometimes I just get caught because that shit's cool. I just want to listen to the music. All right, this one's a little tough, this area. Not if you put everybody to sleep. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, that one moves. That's not good. I don't think that guy comes in through here, does he? I don't think so. If he does, he's about to get it. Bring your ass through there. Ah, the controls are different. That's annoying. So you can't lightly let go of the square button to put your gun down. You have to click the left stick. I don't like that. Because I've been playing this game like my whole life. And it's weird. Even the tiniest little things. It just feels off. I believe that's how the controls were on the Xbox 360 version of this game. Because the PS3 version, the uh, buttons were pressure. I don't know. Why did they change that? Are the PS5 or PS4 buttons not pressure sensitive? Maybe they thought it'd be too hard for people to lightly let go of the square button. I don't know, maybe. I'm not sure if there's any other controls changed, but I guess if I start fucking up, we'll see. Where that ship is headed? No, I'm looking at it. 35 degrees longitude, latitude around 58. More than 500 miles off the coast of the Bermudas, out in the middle of the Atlantic. Yo, what that mouth do, Otica? What that mouth do? It's basically combat worthy. That area is outside the Second Fleet's operational range, too. It must be a standalone Marine Corps project, which means this prototype Metal Gear must be designed for independent deployment without any naval assistance. Anyway, analysis can wait till later. Snake, you need to go down to the hold and locate the actual metal. <gasps> He's like, wait a minute, somebody else is here. See, Olga? Bro, I thought she was fine AF when I was like a little kid. Hmm? I don't know what it was, man. Was it the short hair? The hairy armpits? Alright, let's see. Let's grab some ammo or not. Keep tapping R1. Um, let's see. So aim. It is left stick. Okay. Because like I said before, can you still run and shoot? Oh no, how do you run and shoot? Ah oh, shit. Usually you would hold square and X at the same time to run and shoot. How do I run and shoot? I guess I'm gonna have to Google it. <laughs> Damn it. I don't know. Yeah, usually if you want to run and shoot, you hold square and X at the same time. Or you hold square, then hold X. But no, it's not working. So I wonder what it is. Hmm, okay. That's something I'll have to Google. That's so weird. What button do you have to press to run? Run and shoot. Conflict and victory with my parents. The union is my life, my family. Control room. Nothing else matters to me. All oh, this shit is like imprinted control. in my brain. Man. And exit point to the tanker hold secured. Infrared sensor placed and operational. Good work. Are the explosives in place? Yes, they are all planted. Listen. I swear it wasn't the wet T-shirt. I wasn't that nasty when I was a kid. Vehicle's pilot. He's the only one who underwent the vehicle. I just thought she was cute. No one else can do it. Are you sure you can trust him? Your part in the mission is complete. You are to leave at once. No, it's not over yet. I can see the moon, even in this storm, pale as death. I have a bad feeling about this mission. You swore this to me, that you would leave the unit once the mission was complete. 
Do not worry, this is a country of liberty. No, this is where I belong, with a unit. I have nowhere else to go. Father, I want to stay and fight. There is no choice to make here, Olga. Need I remind you that you are carrying my grandchild? You will be on the helicopter out of here now. Damn it. your gun overboard slowly a woman show your face you men you're all the same who are you oh uh, look at the pits baby oh uh, censor him we can't give him everything nomads wanderers i said to move you guys can't get everything man Americans. feet armpits <laughs> I like her ears. Not too shabby, is it? New York, I mean. The Matrix? Alright, let's see how rough this goes because I'm ass. I had always such a hard time fighting her. brings our door to its conclusion. Scout knife with a surprise. You a Spetsnaz? I think you deserve a little credit. No one's ever dodged that shot of mine. But no one gets lucky twice either. All right, let's go, baby. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. I've been with the unit since I was born. I grew up on the battlefield. Conflict and victory were my parents. I'm gonna be oh. Damn. The Shit. The good. Oh. Gotcha. Nothing else matters to me. Say it. I have no one. Nothing except the unit. Nothing else matters to me. Damn, you got so many shots. Come back, I'll do that shit again. Whoever you are, you're not stopping us. Oh, watch me. <laughs> Shooting her thigh. <laughs> ah, you, you bitch. How could you, you bitch? Okay. How can she see? Is she just taking pot shots? She's about to throw a grenade. Skaya! Dog, how does she know? How can she see? Think you slick. Yeah, dude. Oh, man, this is so cool. Like, she's trying to use all the like environments and shit to like beat you. No, you put that garnet down, Missy. Ah, ah shit. Come on, you got one more in you, baby girl. We got one more in you. Shit. There we go. Bump, bump, bump. Yeah, I was like, man, like she uses the thing to block your vision and then she the light so you can't see him like that's just so cool man now we got a real gun where we can bust some ass I 
cipher. Yeah, the cipher was like, got you, bitch, and then just left. <laughs> Otacon, the ship appears to be under their control. The men have Russian gear, but I haven't been able to find out anything else about their origin. I know who they are. You do? We've ID'd the old man. Who is he? Sergei Gerlukovich. Gerlukovich? One of Ocelot's allies? Yeah, the Gru Colonel. He's the one Ocelot was supposed to meet up with after Shadow Moses. They're after Metal Gear. Everything's changed. This is not going to be as simple as we thought. You could say that. I saw a surveillance remote just now. It looked like the Cypher. A Marine Cypher T? No, Army. First the Marines, then the Russians, now the Army? You're right. This isn't going to be simple. Snake, there's something I have to tell you. What? We didn't dig up this info about the new Metal Gear on our own. Not like usual. How did you find out then? It was a tip. An anonymous tip. Anonymous? You've never trusted those. Why would you start now? I, uh... I have a younger sister. A stepsister. We have different parents. I only knew her for two years. You've never mentioned her before. So? The sender of the tip was E.E. E.E.? -E. E -E? Her name is Emma, but I always call her E.E. -E. Emma? Emmerich? Yeah, it just caught my eye, you know? I, I figured it was a coincidence, but I couldn't get it out of my mind. There's really no one out there who knows about her. When was the last time you saw her? Over ten years ago. You think it's a trap to lure us out here? I don't know. After I got the tip, I did break into the Pentagon system to get confirmation. Okay. Watch your back, Snake. Maybe I screwed up. I've got a light-equipped USP. I can take them on now. There's no ammo, but it takes a 9mm, just like the Marine's M9. I'll find those somewhere around here. Don't raise too much racket with that thing. I hear you. Alright. We won, baby. We won. Let's go and collect our, our spoils. We got a gun with no bullets, so you can't shoot her. Uh, but what you can do... But get them pits, part two. She got shoes on. Sorry, foot fiends. But for the pit boys, you got a bird's eye view. Now, of course, it's etiquette. Before we go, we got to send her off with good old speed bag. Bow, 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 bow. All right. Let's go. Do we need the wet box? I think we can go across for the wet box. Do we need it? No. Nah, we don't need it. So we can be all wet and soapy and shit? How do you shoot and move at the same time? I don't know. This might be a little tough. I have a hard time getting with the camera over here. I could just go this way. I, or just get caught right away because it doesn't matter. Snake, wait. Don't move. I see it. Some kind of device on both sides of the hall. Boom, boom. Infrared sensors. Doom, 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 doom. Right. Boom, boom, boom. And they're linked to... Boom, boom. Let me guess. Semtex. Boom, boom. Exactly. Boom, boom, boom. Plastic boom, boom. explosives. So this is what they were talking about. Looks like it. If you trip the sensors... I'll be sleeping with the fishes, along with this entire ship. That sounds about right. Hmm. There aren't that many infrared beams. Maybe you can get past those without setting off the explosives. If you need to see exactly where the beams are, you can use the usual method. <laughs> the usual method There's of just guessing? <laughs> over there. Or the fire Break extinguisher. Break it open and try scattering some of the extinguishing chemicals. I gotta go. No, no, you snitch. I don't count. Nope. Start over. Start over. Don't go all the way. Let's see. We'll wait till he... He doesn't turn around. He does turn around. What a bitch. I don't know how we're going to be able to do this. I've got an idea. Or not. Let me try this again. See if we can get him to go over there. It's not fucking working. Shit. Got him that time, punk bitch. Doom. Ah. Ah. Okay, so we gotta go. Don't. Beep, 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 beep. 
I don't want to kill him. I just want to make him feel it. I got an idea. <coughs> Bitch. <laughs> doom, doom. Got his ass. I think here you could do it. Shit, what what game have I been playing where bullets can bounce off walls and actually work? And this is this game? I remember using bullets bouncing off walls. Where that other one at? Supposed to be two of y'all. So I think we go this way, right? I think so. Either this way or the other way. Freeze. Huh? Give me the goodies. Whatever. Oh, it's the other one. Do 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 do. You guys want to see ice cubes melt in real time? Cause that was another like inspirational thing in this video that people used to point out. Like you. You see these ice cubes, and then you'd be like, ah, it's a gunfight, oh no, and then... You see the ice cube shrinking? Is it working? The fuck? I remember these ice cubes shrinking! Was that in the E3 thing? Whatever. <laughs> Maybe, is it, is it working? Do they look smaller to y'all? Maybe that was only in the E3 thing. I do remember that being a big deal when people were like, oh, look at all the detail. You could shoot this thing and make the ice... The ice cubes are getting smaller. See, the ice cubes melt in real time. Re revolution, revolution, revolution. Stun grenades. The engine room starboard. Raven. What a debate, right? around the corner and it's just shadow puppet. That's funny. I think we got another waifu in here. Or this dead guy. Yeah, that's the waifu I'm talking about. <laughs> Oops. One of these got a waifu in it. Oh, there it is. Gotta make sure Otacon gets these. I can't be the only one around here. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you bitch! No, you shut your your whore mouth! No, what the fuck are you doing? No, oh, fuck it, dude. Ooh, almost broke my damn legs. <laughs> I'm surviving, bitch. Man, what a snitch! Oh, dude, they're fucking coming, man! Oh, dude, I hope I don't die. Bitch! Hey, gravity did that one. No, oh, we're doing it, dude. We're doing it. Not a good job, but we're doing it. I think if we're fast enough, we might be able to get this over with. Let's see. Fuck! 
You're slowing me down. I'm trying to get out of here. <laughs> There's another set of infrared sensors in place. If you touch that, the explosives will detonate and that ship will be pulverized. I'm not in the mood to go sleep with the fishes, but there are too many sensors. Looks like I'll have to find another way. No need to worry. There's a way through. Take a close look. Do you see the thing with blinking green lights right next to the explosives? That's the control unit for the sensors. Destroy that, and the sensors stop functioning. You can't get in close enough to touch it, so you'll have to shoot it out. But the M9's knockout rounds won't I can't work. remember if it's the two USP or three. The USP you picked up should do the trick. Use that gun. All right. I'm going to be quick. I can't remember if it's two or three. Oh, there is one more right there. There we go. We're out. We outro, baby! That went perfecto! That was so delicious. Checkpoint pass. All non-essential personnel report to the holds in 10 minutes time for the scheduled briefing session with the Commandant. You are ordered to continue manning your posts until that time. Did I get him? Damn, he's that far away? Or am I aim that bad? There we go. Just jamming out? You think he's living in Evanescence? Living. Listening to Evanescence? Evanescence? I don't know why I can't say that word. Let's hope this guard stays asleep. Okay. Because sometimes if you're a little too slow or a little too fast, he'll... He'll, he'll little eepy boy open his eyes and you're boned. I don't know why I have such a hard time saying Evanescence. What were people listening to back in 2002? Lincoln Park? Y'all was listening to something. How's my health looking? Normal? I don't know. I don't know. Let me Google it. Let me grab my phone and Google it. This is 2001 or 2 because Skater Boy came out in 2002 and you know damn well y'all was listening to that. You know damn well. And I mean 2002 as in when this game came out, not when this game takes place. Because I think MGS1 takes place in like 2005. But I meant like in real time, you know. The lift is also real life. Under our control. I think this Sir, came out in 2001. Commander has started his speech already. All communications to the halls have been severed. No one is aware of our presence. Let no one down into the halls until we are out. Yes, sir. We will secure your exit with our lives if necessary. There is one more thing. Yes, sir. My daughter, keep her safe. Yes, sir. How you know I was there? You got ESPN? Oh shit. Bum. Bum. Na -na -na -na. Shit. It'll go down eventually. We shooting at chump. You trying to shoot the lights out? Oh, that shit's so cool, dude. They got night vision goggles. Bum, bum, bum. Mm, 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 mm. Yo, Action Jackson! Get the fuck out of here. Oh, that sucks. 
Yo, it worked! <laughs> Come here, bitch! Oh, shit! This is so ghetto. Don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me. Oh, it didn't work. Get your dirty ass to sleep. Fucking bitch. the stones were gonna get him i'm trying my i'm yeah i don't know why i'm uh, stumbling i'm just i'm just excited <laughs> i'm so excited i love this game so much um i'm just trying to play it a different way if that makes sense there's a right way there's a fun way there's a good way there's a bad way it's the same when we we're playing mgs1 i'm just trying to trying out some new stuff experiment Cause usually when I play this game, I'm on like autopilot. Cause I played it so much. Just trying to see what cool shit I can do. I thought the stun grenades were gonna work, especially how I fucked up that throw and it landed right where they ran. Who goes there? All it is just make their eyeballs hurt a little bit. Didn't even knock them out. Oh, Shalashaska. Why are you here? We thought you were with the Colonel. What the? He said, don't ask stupid questions. Blow! The Colonel will be joining you soon, comrade. What a cold piece, man. What a cold piece. Snake, are you in yet? Have you made it to the holds? It's taking longer than I expected. We've already passed the Verrazano Bridge. All right, we'll use another recovery point. They may be planning to change course. What? The exits to the deck are all sealed. What are they planning? If they get Metal Gear, we're going right off the fringe. You're all familiar with the Shadow Moses. The men down here are definitely Marines. The current state of nuclear... If the deck is sealed off, they have no way of knowing that the ship's been taken over. I'm not interested in fighting these guys. The weapons won't do me much good here. Can you see Metal Gear? No. I'll have to go around to the bow. They have some serious defenses here. I doubt the recent arrivals want to blast their way through the Marines either. Wonder where they're headed? I don't know. Not the beach, that's for sure. Okay, Snake. Let's go over this one more time. Use this camera to get photographic evidence of the Metal Gear prototype. Now do your thing and take pictures that speak louder than the government's plausible denials. We need four shots. Metal Gear from the front, front right and front left and a close-up of the marine corps marking marking what about metal gear from the back there should be and we can hit metal gear from the back on the body of metal gear just let someone try explaining away a clear shot of that all right there's actually one little thing just spit it out i'm used to things going wrong it looks like someone's monitoring our transmission who I don't have a clue. All they're doing is watching. It would creep me out less if they tried to interfere with our communications. Could it have something to do with that cipher we saw? Maybe. I've switched the encryption protocol for our burst transmission for now. What I want to do is use a different method for sending these photos, just in case. Instead of using the codec? Exactly. There's a workstation in the southeast corner of the block where Metal Gear is housed. I've made arrangements so that you can send the pictures from the machine. Arrangements? I hitched a ride on Link 16 into U.S. military's proprietary network, managed to get into that workstation, and overwrote a part of the system software so I could remote install a little app I wrote. Why bother with anything that complicated? No, it's pretty simple, really. Look, all you have to do is stand in front of the machine and push the action button. 
the app will automatically launch and download the image data from the camera, split the files, and encrypt them individually. The data packets can then masquerade as... Okay, okay. So all I have to do is push the action button in front of the computer once I have the pictures, right? Well, sure, if you put it that way. And one more thing. The Commandant's already begun his speech, but you need to get the pictures before he's done talking. Otherwise, they'll spot you, okay? How much time do I have? I hacked into his personal files and took a look at the text of that speech. I'd say you have seven more minutes. Longer if he throws in a joke or two. A seven-minute time limit, huh? Remember, Snake, just the photos, okay? With these kinds of odds, I won't be making any sudden moves. But that doesn't mean we can just let Metal Gear be hijacked. Okay, okay, but first the photos. All right, we'll deal with the rest when we get there. Stay low. You better lay low. All right, let's go. We initiated development of Metal Gear Ray as a countermeasure to these pirated weapon forces. <laughs> Ooh, I almost, I almost messed that up and would have just died. Can you imagine them sitting there getting the speech? Here, this, this man just, <laughs> just die in the background. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that'd be funny. That guy ain't wearing no damn pants. Nice. Nice. That guy knows how to party. Oh shit, this guy's not sleeping. Go, go big sleep. You better lay low. You need to go to bed too. The world is about to see a swarm of these metal gear derivatives. Some say that the strategic All right, baby, all right. Some say that the strategic importance of aircraft carriers will be reduced by the completion of rail. The opposition from the Navy is an undeniable. Do they keep flipping screens so they don't get bored? Especially those with submarine and air background. I remember when I was a little kid, I used to like roll into the crowd of dudes, pause, um, and the game would just start lagging. <laughs> It'd turn into like a domino effect. The game would just start chugging. This weapon will render all other Metal Gears obsolete. Nations building up their own Metal Gear force will think twice about their nuclear strategy in the light of the military. In the light of the military, his voice is really loud, dude. You're all familiar with the Shadow Moses incident during the Sears administration. The current state of nuclear proliferation is a direct result of that event. Yeah, depending on how this turns out, I might have to turn it down a bit. I usually have my audio at 80 for console games. So, this one, the cutscenes are a little loud, so I might drop it down to like 75. I don't know, it depends. It might not be that bad. Yo, we gonna give them Metal Gear back shots? I mean, the pictures? Speaking of pictures, we gotta send Otacon those pictures of those titties we found earlier. And that nipple. Let's see what he got to say about that one. We gotta give him the best of both worlds. Some man tits. Barracuda? Barracuda? All right, let's see what we got. Sprite version 2.221 or 0.2.21. I love so, that little lot of man. Any codex super moments cool. from you, Snake? The first image is. Oh, this is a what? Yeah. Nothing. It's nothing. Yeah. But this isn't a photo of Metal Gear anyway. Sorry, but you're going to have to go back and shoot another set. I'll just make a backup of this one. Putting the old spank bank out con? I feel you. The next image is... So, uh, this explains a lot. Not that there's anything wrong with keeping it to yourself. I mean, you know, it's your life and everything. 
But you're going to have to take those Metal Gear photos now. You're afraid of man nipple? Is that that? Is that what it takes? Nuclear war and guns and bullets. But a, a man titty is what sets you... <laughs> okay. The last one is... You jealous? Didn't think Gerlukovich was involved, of all people. You scared? We need four images. One from the front right, the front, and the front left, and a close-up of the Marines marking on the prototype. Get the prototype on camera. Okay. At least he appreciated the the boobies. Let's see, I'm gonna put this guy to sleep, even though he's already asleep. But uh, okay. Need to get a fix on who they are. Good. I don't get how he can't just see you running back there. Is he blind? Yeah, his his audio is like kind of. I don't know if you guys can hear it. It's a little distorted because he's too loud. Just a tiny, tiny bit. Maybe it's just my audio, but if it sounds fine, the video it sounds fine. The video. Yo, do protect your neck. It's like his head fell off. I have a daughter, and it is my greatest wish never to have her or her children okay. experience the horror of nuclear war. As a father, I want to leave a better... Maybe that's just the effect they wanted for it to sound a little distorted because he's like on a megaphone and loud as shit. If we have a Metal Gear, we can also fight with another Metal Gear. Looks like I have your photos now. Let's take a look. Mm -hmm. The first image is... Surprise, there's more titties. Okay, that's oh. good. The shot from the right is in the bag. The next one's... Okay, this works. It's a great front view. Next up is... You're a pretty good photographer. We can definitely use this left shot. So let me, let me tell you guys something that used to always bother me when I was a kid. You see how they have the big like railing up there on the top left that's covering uh, a bit of Metal Gear Ray? You can still see it, but like that big railing, that used to bug me so much. I'm like, oh, it's you have to get a picture from the top left. But like a big chunk of Metal Gear is being covered by that like pipe that's in it. And that used to bother me so much. I'm like, ugh, all the pictures are clear except for this big dumbass thing in the way. So, what's the last one gonna be? The back shots one? This is great. The Marines lettering shows up really well. Now we have all the photos. I accidentally pressed the button. Snake, the speech is about to wind up. Forget the photos and get out of there now. Yeah, I accidentally press X. So, he uh, didn't speak the last two. I don't think you can turn the... Like, once you tap X to skip it, I don't think you can press it to... With Metal Gear Ray. To, uh... That is all. I don't know. Does anybody know that? Can you press a button to get him to start talking again, or are you just kind of bone? Because that was an accident. It's fine. It was only like two or three lines of dialogue. Also, when I was a kid, I thought that guy was bald, but he's got like light brown hair, and it just blends in with his with his body. Or is it blonde or something? I don't know. Like, I just thought his head was dirty when I was a little kid. You know, it was a PS2, and the graphics were bad. And I had a shitty TV. Excellent speech, my friend. Who the? I was also a child, so. Gift of the silver tongue. They say it's the mark of a good officer. End of a liar. Americans are too in love with the sound of their own voice to speak the truth. Identify yourself. I am Shalashaska. Also called Revolver. Awesome. Had to give you the PS1 flashback just in case you didn't recognize him. The last time you saw him, the graphics were bad. What do you want? This machine will be quite useful. Can you imagine if they just what shot him? To do? Steal this thing? What do you think would have happened then? What if they just shot him? No, no, I'm taking right away. it back. You know what I mean? Well, they just shot him. And we wouldn't have a video game, huh?
The fuck he getting there? Luca Pretty bench. sneaky for a big boy. Nobody move. Understood. This ship now carries enough Simtex on its key structural points to blow it out of the water at the touch of this button. That's right. No one has to die needlessly. Streets. I was raised in Znezinsk, formerly known as Chelyabinsk 70, the nuclear research outpost. What are you talking about? After the Cold War ended, my home was bought out by the Americans. Is there a point to this sad story? Now you would understand. Land, friends, dignity, all sold to the highest bidder, the United States of America. Even the technology that gave birth to these weapons is Russian, developed by us. What do you intend to do? Russia will rise again. And Ray is the key. I regret to inform you that I have no intention of selling Metal Gear. As I said, I came to take it back. Oh. Yes. Returned to the Patriots. The Lale Lule Lo. How's that possible? Ocelot. You! Have you sold us out? <laughs> I was never in your employ, Kalukovich. Are you still in league with Solidus? No hard feelings, Colonel. Mother Russia can rot for all I care. Since when? Yeah, he sounds like a hater. You turn? I'm glad you noticed, comrade. I abandoned her during the Cold War. Metal Gear only has room for one! Lukovic, you and your daughter will die here. Damn you! What I find crazy is how he straight up said only one person is getting out of here alive and there's like 20 motherfuckers there just standing there like like y'all ain't all gonna die. He lit that boy up. Got him. Sergei, the delayed death. Ah. Looks like you were long overdue for retirement. Traitor, stop! Oh, well, there you go. Okay, so there's 20 of you guys, and he has six bullets, right? Which means that's guaranteed six dead. But then there's like 14 of you left. See. So you guys can do this. <laughs> this base is basic math. You guys can do this. You can take it. Show's over. If you wish to live, I suggest you run now. This ship is still in the lower New York Harbor. You may yet make it to shore if you swim for your life. Oh, there it is.
Oh, they couldn't have shot him. Never mind. He had the belt thing. Never mind. Not like they knew that, but still. That's why they can't hit him. I completely forgot. He had the belt thing. what it's like, brother. No wonder Naomi passed you over for the Fox Dive program. Ouch! Get out of my mind, Liquid! Physical prodigy. Few more years and you'll be another dead clone of the old man. Our raw materials are vintage, brother. Big Boss was in his late 50s when they created his copies. But I, I live on through this arm. He said, ah! It blew up. <laughs> Think?
How do we make it out of this one, folks? Oh, we did. It's right there. I mean, no shit, but... That's brazen. He's the only one. The one that made it? Yes. At the location we discussed. Yes. I have photographic evidence of Snake on the scene. Yes, he was kicked up. Most useful. I look forward to tomorrow morning's news flash. I would say the Marine Corps' plans are on indefinite hold. Yes, of course, Mr. President. Ah, oh, the president's a dick. Damn. Again? Well, since we got that special cutscene at the men end of Metal Gear Solid 1, we know that uh, who the president is. They said his name, which is funny because I never knew they, you know, I thought they kind of made solid a sub for this game. Um, I didn't know that it was in there. I think you only get it if you do the, the, uh, Merrill ending. I never did that ending because I liked having the stealth camo. So, ladies and gentle thugs, uh, this is the end of the tanker, and I would like the tanker and the plant to be two separate videos. Like, I want tanker to be one whole experience that you can watch from start to finish. And I want plant to be, um, it's not gonna be start to finish because it's like nine hours uh, or even longer. So um, I'm gonna save and then um, yeah, I'll make this a separate video and you guys will get that a little bit later. So also I have, I have, I have to go do something. So, uh, cause I just realized what time it is. Thank you for hanging out with me. Hope you guys enjoyed the tanker. I played the tanker when I first got this game. I played the tanker a lot, a lot. I played this game in general a lot, but boy, did I play the tanker over and over and over again. I absolutely love the tanker. It is, it is, it is goaded. But the rest of the game is pretty good. And, uh, you know, I really like it. I really enjoy it. This is one of my all-time favorite games. It's up there. It's up there in the, it's at least in the, the top five. 100% the top five. So we're going to separate it like I said before. We're going to separate tanker and plant so Tanker is one whole experience, one whole video, just for you. Um, so yeah, thanks for hanging out. I hope you guys have a wonderful morning, a great day, a beautiful afternoon, and an awesome night. If it is your birthday, you dastardly devil, happy birthday to you. And if it is your birthday, you gorgeous gal, happy birthday to you too. And I'll see you guys next time in the plant. Bye.